I want to talk a little bit about why I got into new, newborn photography. I started my business after my first baby was born and she's nearly 10. So it's, um, it's a long time ago. This is, this is a picture of I took um, nearly seven years ago. And that is my husband and my seven week old twins. And they were seven weeks old in this picture because they were born at the, just after 31 weeks and had to stay in hospital for six and a half weeks. So I think it was, it was at that point of, of spending all that time in a special care ward at a hospital, for, surrounded by babies. Um, I fell in love with watching them sleep, watching them breathe, watching them move, everything they do. And I learned so much about babies and, and the environment that they come from, which is really important. So that is where my passion, my absolute passion for newborn photography came. But I'd, I'd actually photographed newborns before this image. Um, because I, I had worked in the wedding area and I had worked in the family portrait area and my clients were having babies and coming to me and I was petrified. I got really excited before a newborn session but I was absolutely petrified because I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't understand babies. I didn't, I didn't know what they needed and I didn't know how to make the environment that was good for a session. So I needed to learn it and I was lucky enough to attend a workshop from a, an amazing American photographer who came to Australia and I learned a lot. And um, yeah, so that's, that's where I started out. It was just, it's been an amazing ride ever since and I, I love it. So three years ago, um, I decided to go into newborns full time and it really suited my lifestyle. I have, um, Kenna mentioned, I have kids. So my oldest is nearly 10 and the twins are, are nearly seven. So they're at school and I have a husband who, I wouldn't be a photographer without him, He's pretty much the one person that pushed me into it, probably because I was developing role after role of film and only getting one or two pictures in focus. So he was like, you need to study. You need to go and learn how to, how to use that camera properly. So that's why I, I started my business. I started taking photos and, and every photo I wanted to improve and improve and, and just get better and better. So that I owe it all to him, which is pretty awesome. But he works away. He's only home every second weekend, so I, I can't work weekends anymore. I can't do weddings, I can't do family portraits because he's not there. And um, I have three pretty, pretty amazing reasons to want to be home on a weekend and spend time with them. So babies is where it comes into. Dads take two weeks off usually from work after their baby's born to spend time with the mum and their, their brand new baby. So they can come to my studio, studio Monday to Friday between school hours. So it works perfectly for me. I work, I start at about nine o'clock in the morning after I drop my kids off from school and my sessions start at 10 and then I'm done by two at the latest and my day's over. My kids come home from school, they have my undivided attention and then when they go to bed at night, I edit because my husband's not home. <laughs> and then on the weekends, I'm, I'm theirs. I'm, when my husband's home, I'm, we do everything together. So it fits my lifestyle perfectly. And it's, it's just the best thing in the world to be able to have a, a home environment and a good balance between that and my business and still do really well. So I am proud to say I am a mum with a camera <laughs> and I do pretty well. So this is where I, I got into newborn photography. So I, I put this up here because there are 370,000 babies born every day worldwide and it grows every day. So there are more than enough babies for everybody to go around. Like everybody has babies. Your wedding clients have babies. Your family portrait clients will eventually have more babies if they haven't taken precautions. Um, so <laughs> so um, yeah, it's, it's a good area to be in, but to know how to do it correctly and safely and offer our clients something that they want is, is really cool. And it's the most rewarding thing to see the look on your client's face when they finally see their images when they're finished. So it's a popular area of photography and there's a lot of people wanting to do it. And um, I think that's amazing because to work with these little people is so special. Um, anyway, so I was gonna talk about wanting to come to Creative Live, but I've already done that. It's the best place in the world. I've watched so many amazing photographers on here. 
um, Sue Bryce from Australia is, is a dear friend of mine, so it's pretty cool to, to have watched her and just been in absolute awe of everything she's done on here, and especially for the photography industry, and to be sitting here today, it's quite surreal, so <laughs> I am, I'm very grateful. Um, so every parent that comes into our studio with their baby, they, you know, they're not looking for the most elaborate setup. I do some pretty elaborate setups, but that's, that's not every setup from every session. They want to remember what their baby looks like at that point in time, and they want, they want it captured. They want to capture the moment, they want to capture the emotion, and the connection that they have with their baby at that time. So that's what we are employed to do. Not put them into dangerous positions, not put them into, um, breakable objects or not put them at risk just for the sake of us to get that shot. So I want to show over the next three days with 17 babies that are coming in to be photographed, which is pretty exciting. It's a record for me. and It'll be 20, including the three we did yesterday. But um, I want to show with you how easy it is to create a simple, beautiful portrait that your clients are going to love and they're going to want to put on their wall big, which is, which is really cool. So, um, yeah, I just want to say that um, last year in 2012, I photographed 100 babies in my studio. I also, like even though I, I do specialise in, in newborn photography, I actually have a couple of commercial clients that I do some work for, which is really awesome. So that's something else that I do on the side. But babies is number one in my studio, so 100 babies. And my average sales are $1,100. Well, for 2012 they were. So that was my average sale, and I don't have a lot of overheads, which, which is amazing for my business. And, you know, I reckon that's not bad for a mum with a camera who works Monday to Friday. I, I, I did all right last year. This year, I'm going to take it another step higher, and, and I'm really excited about what's going to happen. I've changed my, the way that I, I offer my products and my pricing, and I'm going to share all of that with you on day two, I think that is. And um, yeah, but today we're going to cover posing on a bag in the next segment um, on my bean bags, which I've bought. I've bought so much stuff from home and I've had so many amazing props and, and things for us to use bought in by people that work at Creative Live and some amazing donations and, um, and props been given to us by, by some yeah, pretty cool people out there. So I'm excited to use those. <laughs> 